Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back, Tyler All Outdoor. I'm Tyler. Uh, today I'm gonna do a short video, uh, just a little product review. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about this spinnerbait here by Guggen. It's called a Zinger. This thing is revolutionary, is what this is. Um, I'm a huge believer in these. And if you don't have one, go get one. What are you doing? Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, time and money. Two top three things that we as bass fishermen, tournament anglers, weekend anglers, that we care about the most. is time and money. Um, and these, this, this spinnerbait saves both. And let me tell you why. Nowadays, everybody is throwing some sort of trailer on the back of their spinnerbait. I personally throw swim baits on the back of mine, for the most part. Now, I want to show you something here. This is just your traditional spinnerbait. I'm not going to tell you who it's made by. Try to not put a uh, company on blast here. But if you look at the bottom of that hook there, there is no keeper. There's nothing to help keep that spinnerbait trailer in place when you're fishing. We all know when you throw in something with a trailer on it, whether it's a jig, a, a swim bait, or I'm sorry, a jig or a spinnerbait, you throw it out there, you get it back in, you catch fish. Whether you're releasing the fish, putting them in the box, that's irrelevant. After catching a fish, 90% of the time, you're going to have to fix your trailer. You're going to have to readjust it. Um, if it's been, you know, pulled pretty hard on fish, you know, head, head uh, throbbing, it's going to rip it. So it's going to come off and you're going to either have to replace it or fix it. That takes time. Now, if you have to replace it, that's money because you've just wasted a swim bait on one fish. These zingers, I'll show you down here if I can get this skirt pulled back. These zingers have two keepers to hold your trailer in place. They understand that most people nowadays are throwing a trailer on the back of their spinnerbait. That keeper helps obviously hold that, that trailer in place. But it also helps keep it in place longer, okay? Now, if you catch a fish on a swim bait trailer, or any type of trailer for that matter, I keep saying swim bait because that's what I use. Any type of trailer, they're going to pull it. They're going to pull it down the shaft of the hook. So with that keeper, it's going to keep that from happening. So then you're not busy putting the, you know, readjusting your trailer or replacing it. You're just ready to, to get back out there and make another cast. That's saving time. Yeah, it doesn't seem like much time, but when you sit there and you mess with that, let's say you catch 10 fish in a day, you're, you're readjusting that swim bait every time, or that trailer, I'm sorry, every time, that's time. You can make another cast in the time it's going to take you to fix that trailer. You know, the, you know, throughout the day, throughout 10 fish, that's, that, you know, that's what, 15, 20 casts that you could be making that you're, that you're losing. Um, so it saves time. And then money with you have to replace them. Um, if they do pull it down the uh, the hook and they rip the top of your your swim bait or your trailer, you can readjust it. You can just turn it a little bit, push it up on that keeper, and that keeper is going to hold it there. It doesn't have to be tight like brand new, um, which once again is going to save you money. These swim baits are not cheap. You know, a pack of five or six is going to cost you about seven dollars depending on the brand. So. It comes out to about a dollar a piece. You can't afford to waste a dollar every fish you catch because not every fish is going to be a keeper. And also, if you're a tournament angler or a weekend angler, I'm sorry, if you're a weekend angler, you're you're not out there to win money. You're not out there to get anything. So you're out there just to relax and enjoy it. And still, even then, you may only be able to fish on a Saturday, you know, or one Saturday every other week or something like that. And you want to optimize the time that you have on the water and catch the most fish that you can. That spinnerbait is going to help you do that by saving you time and money when you do catch the fish. So go check these things out. They've got, they've got them in multiple colors. I've got two of the same here. I'll try to show you some colors they've got. They got your blue, chartreuse, and white. Uh, they all have that uh, that willow leaf in the Colorado up top. Um, these are 3 8 ounce. Uh, it's just my favorite size to throw in a spinnerbait. Uh, they've got your, your white there. And 
one of my favorite colors. They've got that white and chartreuse with a gold Colorado blade <clears throat> for that early springtime kind of dirtier water. And uh, these things are fantastic. I love them. Um, I just started using them and I noticed a difference right off the bat. So what I got to say to you guys is go out there, get you one, try it. And I promise you won't regret it. Um, you'll really enjoy them just as much as I do. Another little thing that I forgot to mention is that, that knot keeper at the top. Um, it's a small thing, but I have noticed that it helps. Um, as a tournament angler, you don't have a lot of choice on which days you can fish. Um, and we fish all types of weather conditions, you know, raining, I've fished in the snow, um, bluebird, cloudy, all the weather conditions you can think of. And when it's real windy and you're throwing a spinnerbait that doesn't weigh an ounce, it's going to it's gonna get pushed around in the wind and it's going to do some somersaults in the air as you're casting. And I have had my line get tangled up around the blades or move down the, the shaft due to the wind pushing it around. So that keeper helps obviously keep the knot up top and it, it minimizes the amount of tangles you get um, on any given cast. So just saves time once again back to the time thing every time that you get tangled up and you pull it out of the water you're gonna have to sit there and mess with it and untangle it and uh that that cuts down on it i'm not saying it's tangle free but i'm just saying it helps and it limits the amount of times it does get tangled which back to my original point saves time anyway now i'm gonna end the video so go check these out get you one tie it on try it you'll be surprised you really will Till next time, tight lines, subscribe, please. Uh, tell your friends, check me out, Facebook, Instagram, all the other things. And also check out Favorite Fishing. I got some good stuff. This rod here, these Phantom rods. That's what I'm running this zinger on. It's a Phantom 6.6. I like the short rod. Kind of help get into the, the tighter spots and underneath docks and everything. So check them out, like, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time.